Rebecca Fuller here the expert and owner at learnfluteonline.com and today we are going to talk a little bit more about how to choose a flute and if you haven't seen the whole page of the whole video series here you'll want to check it out I have the link on this page for you to check out all the things that you need to know when it's time to choose a flute and I want you to know what you're doing a little education here to help you so that you can get a flute that's in really great condition and you can come learn how to play it and enjoy it and have a great time. Okay, so today in this particular video, I'm going to give you a little talking to about finding a flute technician. And the first thing I need to tell you is that different places of the world will have more availability for, for flute technicians. That seems a little bit obvious. If you're in a country that doesn't use this concert flute as its main type of flute. For example, you might be in India where you have a traditional flute called the Bansuri, and, or maybe you're in South America where you have a kena or whatever. They're made out of wood or bamboo if you're in Asia. Different types of flutes. We are talking about this flute, the Western Concert Flute. Uh, it's called a few different names. We went through that before. And so we have to talk about where to find the proper flute. Now, if you are looking for a flute in a store, you want to find the biggest city possible, usually, if you can't find one locally around you. The biggest flute possible should have a real instrument store. Now at that real instrument store is probably where you'll find your flute technician or a list of accredited or licensed or good technicians because they will be looking for you as well. They'll be looking for your business and so they should be advertising at those real instrument stores. So that should give you a clue for where to go. Now talking about the real instrument stores, I have to put in a plug here because I'm always surprised when somebody tells me that they found a flute at the grocery store and they're wondering if it's a good one. That's a funny question to me because of course not. <laughs> uh, any, any real instrument like this that you could find in the grocery store, like a big box store, is going to be of the very lowest quality. It's going to be stamped out at a factory. It's going to be made of the lowest quality uh, materials as possible. And sure, you may be able to learn on it for a while, but don't expect it to be of these higher quality ones that we're talking about. But of course, everybody gets to start on whatever level they can. And that is great. I'm just glad we get started. I actually began playing the flute on a very low quality flute because that is what I had. It's what was available to me and that's a whole nother story. Maybe you've heard me tell that before, but I was happy to have it and I did learn. I did have to find a flute technician that I took my flute to over and over and over again because of the improper information that I received when I was first learning. So that's the whole reason I have this website and these learning series is for you so that you can avoid the problems that I came across when I was learning. We can just do so much better than that now. I'm here for you. All right, so with that, let's go into our next video and let's learn even more. I'm glad you're here. See you then.